Have you got many people to move to Dakota? Well, not just people, Mr. Bauer, but the right people. You see, the thing that first interested our state chairman, he found that you're almost 100% Republican through this whole area. Oh? That's mostly what you're interested in, ain't it? Getting Republicans to move up there? That's right, sir. You see, Mr. Bauer, this past year, we've had almost a tidal wave of shiftless, irresponsible Democrats moving in. A bunch of shysters and quacks and usury-type moneylenders. And if we don't do something about it soon, they'll have us outnumbered. Well, let me tell you something, young man. You're trumping in the flat tune on a worn-out horn. Because you can't turn back a tidal wave, not by putting out a rabble-rousing, ragtag newspaper. And not by speech-making to a bunch of poor, misguided Republicans. And furthermore, That's I... enough, Grandpa. Now, stop it. We have a very special little rule that I have to invoke, Mr. Carter, to, to make life bearable around here. Uh, we do not discuss, we do not even mention politics in this house. And the summer kitchen, I consider part of the house. 